Feminism started in US in the 19th century against patriarchy. Patriarchy means domination of male. They started as a movement that was demanding justice and equality. It passed through different phases or sometimes they call it different waves, first wave, second wave, third wave, etc. From just protest against patriarchy to a systematic political struggle, gradually it was converted to a political movement. Feminist movement raised voice against social in in inequality and injustice on the basis of sex. They were against any kind of discrimination in society, in allocation of resources and recognition, and in access to different positions and power just on the basis of sex that a person is male or female. They were against this difference and discrimination. And this was a very just demand and is a very just demand. Feminists thought that inequality separates and sustains through language. All this is happening because of language. This was their conception, their perception. And language is concern of linguistics. So this is how interests of people from both fields were shared. And this is how linguists, they turn to feminists and feminists, they turn to uh, linguists. This role of language attracted linguists towards feminists. This is how they were combined. And this is how feminist linguistics came into being. And language and gender, the course we are studying is part of feminist linguistics. Cameron from UK, British linguist and soci uh, sociolinguist, and Robin Lecker from US are from the pioneers who worked on this role of language. How use of language promotes discrimination on the basis of sex. They worked on it. Work of such language became the basis of feminist linguistics. Now, some of the works of uh, pioneers of this field they are being shared with you. The myth of Mars and Venus. Do men and women really speak different languages? This is a book. And this book was written by Professor Deborah Cameron. Here she, look, Mars and Venus. So she says that, when people say that men and women speak two different languages, so they are actually talking about myths about Mars and Venus. So she uses the names of these planets metaphorically. So this was her great contribution. She has written many other books on this. Language, another uh, gender scholar, feminist linguist is, uh, Robin Lakoff, she is from the US. Her book, Language and Women's Place, uh, this is uh, one of the foundational works which were written in this field. So, here she tells us that actually women's language is polite and uh, it, this politeness, in their language and the specific features of their language actually uh, provide males an opportunity to dominate them. So women are weak because their language is weak. 
This is her point of view. Then uh, another scholar from USA, Eckert, Language and Gender. In this course, we have benefited a lot from the works of this author. So uh, you will find many references of this author in this course. Then another uh, pair, Sarah Mills and Melanie. They are from UK, British scholars of this field. Their work, language, gender, and feminism, theory, methodology, and practice. This is very important from so many angles. Most prominent are that uh, the reader of this book knows what are the major concepts, theories, perspectives about relationship between language, gender, and feminism, the history. Number two, what are the methods which we can use to research issues in the field of language and gender. This is an important source for those people and students who want to do research in this area. Then another uh, work is Feminism and Linguistic Theory by Deborah Cameron, again UK, British scholar. We have already mentioned her. So here actually what she does, she relates feminism with linguistics in this book. She shows their relationship with each other. Then another book, this is by Deborah Tennant from U.S. Georgetown University. He said, she said. Now again, this is what actually Robin Lackoff said, that men and women have different languages. So here, the title tells it all. He said and she said, they speak different languages. Then another author, we should not miss her, Gender, Sexuality and Meaning, Shelley McConnell Jinnah. She is from Canal University, New York, a very important source for this course. We have benefited from her works a lot and uh, especially to know how language meaning matters in defining gender and in defining our social identities. So uh, see the title of this book, it, it has a component that is meaning. Basically she is semanticist. Her focus is on contribution of meaning in defining identity. Uh, I would suggest that if you want to understand her works, first you should know about semantics. Without knowing basics of semantics, you cannot understand her book. However, I have explained things as far as possible in simpler words with examples for your understanding.